Hello Aquarius, this is Debs and this is your reading for mid-December 2021. Guys, nearly into 2022, how exciting! Many of you will be really relieved this year is coming to a close. It has been chaotic, has it not? Now Aquarius, oh Aquarius, in meditation I felt the energy of someone who really wanted to reach out to you. This is somebody who potentially you knew it might have been a short-term connection it might have been someone who at the time just wanted a little bit of fun just wanted a little bit of a fling nothing really serious but the issue is Aquarius they have been trying to replace you they've been looking for another you in other people but there isn't another you that's the problem Aquarius and they're realizing that they want to make it work. Now, the issue is, I don't know whether or not you're in contact with this person anymore. You may um, have blocked them. You may have headed off in another direction. They're really keen to get back in touch, but you may feel that this is someone that you want to avoid for some reason. But I do think that this is someone who initially did feel a lot of chemistry with you. They saw this as a light-hearted connection, but this is somebody who's realized they have feelings for you. And I think they want to come back in to talk about it. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's see what the cards have to say, guys. Thank you so much for all your support over the time of, um, I've been running the channel. It's been absolutely incredible. I don't thank you enough, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Amazing. All right, here we go. Aquarius. Let's see. Let's see what this reading pans out to be. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Aquarians. What does Aquarius need to know, please, Michael, for mid-December 2021? Mid-December 2021. Oh, wow. Okay. Someone doesn't know if you're going to take them back, Aquarius. I keep, I don't know why, I keep wanting to say Virgo. So I don't know whether or not you're connected to Virgo, if you've got Virgo in your chart. Ah, oh, Aquarius. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Archangel Azriel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Metatron. Those are the Archangels with us in your reading, Aquarius. Father Kerry is coming through, smelling incense. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Aquarius. I can't get this person off my mind. Six of Swords in reverse. They hadn't moved on from you, Aquarius. They have not moved on from you. Ah, oh, they don't think you're going to take them back. They just don't. They think it's over. They think they, I'm hearing, they think they screwed up. They screwed up, okay? The sun in reverse in the past, Leo energy. In the immediate past, page of cups in the reverse, in your thoughts, the chariot. Are you going to do this? Are you not? Cancerian energy. Yeah, Cancerian energy in the immediate future. Oh, 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 Aquarius, are you going to be receptive? Are you going to decide to open up to this person? Queen of Cups, lovely. In your fears, the moon in the reverse. In this person's energy, they're fighting for this. Oh my goodness, Aquarius. They want you, only you. They're determined to have you by their side. This is somebody who's also going to fight off the competition. This could be quite a romantic person. They have no problem in speaking their truth. They're very open. They're going to be open about their feelings. Yeah. Yes, in your hopes, the Knight of Pentacles, in the outcome, King of Cups in reverse, somebody's going to be expressing their feelings. Somebody may have been keeping their feelings to themselves, Aquarius. They're opening up. That, for me, is somebody opening up. Sometimes that can represent manipulation, but it really depends on the cards surrounding it. And in this reading, 
I feel this is somebody who could have been selfish in the past. I think you might have pushed them away. I think they regret not seeing who they had in front of them, Aquarius, and they're coming back in. Mm. All right. Six of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Wow. Four of Wands. My goodness. Okay. I feel, Aquarius, this is someone who is thinking very seriously about commitment. They may have treated you like an option, may not have taken the connection seriously. You two may have parted ways. It may have been a natural parting of ways. It could have been a bit awkward, but I think this person is coming in. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. This is somebody who has built up their financial security. They're ready for commitment and they want you, Aquarius. They want you. <laughs> Under the deck, the Empress. They see you sitting in the energy of the Empress. They know it. Oh my goodness. This is somebody who feels really, really guilty, really, really bad. Because... Ace of Wands in reverse, they treated you like a quick fling. They now really regret it. They realise you're an empress. They didn't see it before. Maybe they didn't want to acknowledge it before. And they're coming back in. They're fighting for you. They see it was somebody that they could have a long-term situation with. This is somebody who may have played the field for quite a long time. They're really ready to commit now. And they feel this connection with you. They've been unable to detach from your energy. They're coming in. Be prepared, Aquarius. <laughs> this may be a bit of a surprise. Yeah, actually, it's funny because the card underneath that is the tower in reverse. You may have pulled away from this person, stood in your power, in your empress energy, and they may have been shocked. This is somebody who could have been quite good looking, quite attractive. And they may have had a lot of people running after them, but I don't think you did, Aquarius. I think you pulled right back and you just carried on with your life when all this ended. I think that they have realised your worth and they're coming in to fight for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love readings like this. OK, guys, let's move the camera a fraction. All right, people. So, Aquarius, we start with the Six of Swords in the reverse now. I think this person quietly moved towards you. They could have been a little bit secretive, a little bit sneaky. I think they just wanted a fling, okay? They didn't want anything serious. I feel that when it ended, you might have been a little bit heartbroken, you know, had to get on with your life, had to just move on with things. It could have been a few months ago. They never forgot you. I have to say that maybe you didn't forget them either. But what you're thinking is, yeah, this person hasn't forgotten me, but Ace of Cups in reverse. Either I don't know if I want to take this person back. I don't know if I want a relationship with them. Or they are realising that maybe the way they treated you in the past, you may not be open to talking about the commitment. You may not. They're not sure. This is somebody who feels really remorseful because they realise you're an empress and they treated you like a fling. In the past, Aquarius, Sun in Reverse, you may have felt initially when you met this person, could have Leo in their chart, you could, that there was enlightenment, there was happiness, there was bliss, you two got on really well, there was a load of chemistry, it seemed to be mutual, everything was going to work out. But it didn't actually transpire to be anything, it didn't grow, this person might have just fizzled out of your life, stopped communicating with you. And you were very upset about this. At the time, it was a bit of a shock because I think this person made out that they were very, very interested. But I have to say, I think in the past they were a bit sneaky. I think they were romancing you because they really just wanted a piece of the action. Page of Cups in the reverse. You pulled back, Aquarius. Maybe you didn't accept their apology. If they did apologise, maybe you just thought, OK, well, I'm not going to um, keep in contact with this person. There's no point. They obviously just wanted one thing from me. They've got what they wanted and that's it. 
but they haven't been able to detach from you. And I think, to be honest, even though you may not want to admit it, Aquarius, you may not have forgotten them. So they're coming back in. They don't know if you're going to accept them. What is on your mind as the chariot? Now, we have travel cards here, and I know it's a boring story, guys, but hmm, it could be they live a distance. So you may be thinking, well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, potentially we could have a relationship, but do I really want to be involved with somebody I'm only going to see like once a month? Is it is it worth it? Is it practical? Or the chariot energy could be simply you sitting on the chariot thinking, well, I'm kind of ready to move forward. I'm not seeing anyone else. You know, I could get to know this person. It could go somewhere, but you're just not sure. I mean, this is you deliberating. This is you thinking, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Do I really want this? For some of you, you may have cancer in your chart or you're thinking about a Cancerian. Mm. But we've got a true pair here, Aquarius. We've got the King, Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. So, Michael, when do we have the Queen of Cups coming in for my Aquarius, please? This is your energy, guys. Do we have a timing for that? 11th of, 11th of December. Michael's saying there may have been something that happened in October. I'm hearing the 23rd to the 28th of October. Okay. If not, we're looking at around about the middle of December, which is now. Hmm. Interesting. Now. Imminent. Imminent. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. This is you deciding to open up to this person. You're a little bit nervous. You are going to express that you do have feelings for this person, particularly because they're coming in really keen to win your heart, really keen for you to bring them back into your life. Five of Swords. Now, sometimes this energy can be somebody ruthlessly rushing towards you. I am going to lock this person down. I don't want this person to be with anyone else. And I'm going to find anyone in my path to do this. Somebody a little bit too strong. OK, maybe a bit forceful, but again, the surrounding cards are beautiful. I mean, the surrounding cards are the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, that's an offer of commitment. And this is right next to the Four of Wands, which is someone seriously thinking of marriage, moving in together. Let's get serious. So I think this is somebody who's realized they want to fight for you and they're determined to win you back. And because of this energy, which you might find very attractive, Aquarius, I mean, there's nothing like somebody fighting to be with you, right? Particularly if they've got serious intentions. I think you're moving towards them, admitting that you have feelings for them too. In your fears, the moon in reverse, you are nervous in expressing you do have emotions for this person, but this is you releasing the fear, okay? In doing that, you may be also nervous in terms of wanting to get to grips with why this person didn't want to fight for this before. I mean, was it simply because there was distance between the two of you? Was it because they were trying to get over another relationship? Was it because they were just sat in player energy? You're nervous about what this person is going to come out with, because I think you're going to be asking questions, Aquarius. You're very open hearted. You're wanting to give this a chance, but there is a slight nervous energy. Well, why didn't this work before? What you're hoping for is with the Knight of Pentacles, they're coming back because they really do want something stable with you. They're not just coming in for a flash in the pan fling, not wanting to come in with a lot of overindulgent energy. They do mean it. They mean it. That's what you're hoping for. That's the reason why they've come back. They really want to work on this with me. The final card is the King of Cups in reverse. Now, this could be somebody who actually is a bit shy. Sometimes the King of Cups in reverse can be somebody who, you know, isn't one of these guys that wears their heart on their sleeve. They could be a bit macho. They could have a bit of an ego. They don't feel comfortable with coming out with, yes, I think I have emotions for you. But I think they are going to express them because I don't think they did in the past, Aquarius. King of Cups in the upright has a lot of feelings and love inside, but they feel very uncomfortable expressing them. This guy has a toe in the water. Water is emotions, okay? He's not really immersed in them. 
So this is somebody who is thinking to hell with it. I may feel a bit shy. I may be a bit embarrassed about this, but I am going to express to my Aquarius that I really do want this. And I do have feelings. So you're there standing in Empress energy. They're feeling a bit guilty that they treated you like an option. And I feel this is how this person has been feeling. Okay. Six of Wands in the reverse. I think this is somebody who was sat in a little bit of ego. Right? Wearing a false mask. I think with you pulling away from them. I think this e this person's ego was dented. They may have been used to a lot of women running after them. Okay. And I think this is someone who expected you to text them. Oh, when am I going to see you again? Oh, I really want to meet up with you. I don't understand why you don't want to see me feeding their ego. I think you just disconnected Aquarius <laughs> because you're an air sign. You're very logical. Now, whether or not you disconnected because you enjoyed the connection, you did have feelings, but you thought, no, they're at long distance. You know, this is never going to work. Or whether or not you were just annoyed that they treated you like a fling. Whatever this was, you disconnected from this person and it, it made them feel very uncomfortable. Seven of Cups. They've realised, having dated other women, potentially quite a few, that there's no one like you, Aquarius. You're not running after them. You're standing in Empress energy. The energy you're coming out with, well, if you want me, come and get me. I'm, I'm not going to reach out to you. I'm not going to chase you. It's not what a woman does. That's what I'm hearing. So, I think they've sorted themselves out. I think they feel really remorseful. I think they believe that they've completely screwed things up, but they're coming in. And they're coming in with this energy, which is pretty amazing, Aquarius. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands. I think this person has worked on their stability. They may be wanting to talk to you about moving things into a serious connection. They have what I believe to be is marriage on their mind. Now, take it as it resonates. If you know that potentially you two would not actually get married, then this is this person believing that you two could live together for a long time. They see this as an ongoing stable connection that could last quite a few years, okay? That could last. Wow. All right. This seems to be a rather beautiful reading, Aquarius. Very nice. <laughs> Let's jump in and clarify. Here we go. So what do we have, please, Michael, for the Six of Swords in the reverse crossed with the Ace of Cups? Now, this person hasn't forgotten you. You're not sure if it's going to work out. But the Three of Wands, we have a ship and water twice here. There could be distance. This person may contact you, Aquarius, to say they want to come and see you. And this is you waiting for them to arrive. You're feeling very confident because you may know this person before was sat in a bit of ego and you may know that deep down they did have feelings for you and you're feeling confident that this could go somewhere. Yeah, quiet, quietly confident. Six of Cups. This is someone that you knew in your heart of hearts. Aquarius was a soulmate. This is somebody coming back to you. You did have happy memories with this person. However it ended, you did have some happy times. Yeah, judgment. You may already be wondering, what would I say to this person if they said to me, I actually really want to get to know you. I want to see you as much as possible. You know, I don't want to date anyone else. What would I say to that? Judgment. The divine is giving you a second chance. They're bringing both of you back together again. And you may already be feeling that they're about to reach out. And you may have been sitting in your head a little bit. What would I actually do? Hmm. Archangel Michael, what happened in the past? Why is the page of cups in the reverse? Why is the page of cups in the reverse? The fool in reverse, yeah. You didn't want to be taken for a fool, Aquarius. You didn't want to do anything too risky. You didn't want to just jump into this 
And I think because this person potentially disconnected from you and you were sitting in Empress energy, you just let them. You just thought, okay. And if there was distance involved, you may also have had in the back of your mind, well, it wouldn't have been practical in any case. So, you know, ultimately, maybe it was just what it was and we both moved on. Because you were not willing to do anything too crazy to keep this person in your life. So, Michael, what do we have, please, for the chariot? Now, this is you undecided. Do I do this? Do I not? You're just thinking about things. You're thinking about things. Temperance. Okay, Sagittarian energy. This is you taking a very balanced approach to this, Aquarius. You're not rushing forward. You're not spilling out your heart. But you're remaining open to it. I think your view is, let's just see what happens. I'm tempering my emotions. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to see what happens. I'm not going to say yes or no. I'm going to see what this person says to me and think about it. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. Now, what is the energy of the Queen of Cups? You're moving towards this person. I think you want to give them a chance. You may just decide to say, well, why don't we just go on a few dates and see what happens? <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. Okay, this is rather amusing energy, Aquarius, because what I'm getting here is you're there going, hey, okay, well, it's nice to see you. Yeah, let's meet up. Okay, what happened in the past happened in the past. They may just say, look, I'm sorry for what happened. I'm sorry. You know, I know I kind of rushed off in another direction. You may, I'm smiling, you can tell, say to them, well, you know, yeah, we can see where this goes, but I'm really busy at the moment. I've got a lot on my plate. So you're going to have to work around me. Are you okay with that? <laughs> you're getting this person to really work to be with you. Because you'll say, look, I'm happy to let you back into my life. Yeah, okay, well, thank you for apologising. Uh, but I'm pretty busy right now. So you're going to have to see me when I'm available. <laughs> you're putting your foot down, Aquarius. You're seeing how interested this person actually is. Are they willing to work around me? Because they know they didn't treat you very well, Aquarius, in the past. It could be a little bit of quiet revenge, in the nicest sense. Let them work for it, right? <laughs> okay. Aquarius. really funny queen of wands yeah you know this person finds you incredibly attractive you could have fire in your chart this is also someone incredibly creative ambitious you could be running your own business you could be going for a promotion i mean this is you saying to this person okay well all right well i'm happy to let you um date me but i'm not available very often i'm working i'm busy i'm doing this that and the other so yeah, you're, you're going to have to work around me. <laughs> you may be quietly testing this person to see how interested they really are. They really are. Yeah, you're speaking your truth. Knight of Swords, you're not holding back, being very straight with this person. If you want to make this work with me now, after maybe pushing me away before, it's going to have to be on my terms. <laughs> okay. All righty. Ooh. Oh, nine of pentacles. Yeah, you're very calm. You're very serene. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I've got a busy life. I can give myself a good life. I'm very independent. Yeah, you, you know, you can come and take me out if you want to, but um, I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> Aquarius, I love it. I love it. You're very relaxed. It's as if, well, take it or leave it. No. Um, yeah, I could date you, but, you know, if not, then it's no problem for me. You're being super casual and it may be stressing this person out because they're determined to win you back. And your reaction is, well, I don't know. Yeah, I've got other people in my life. 
I could see you on Friday, but mm, have I got a nail appointment on Friday? I may have a nail appointment. Yeah, I can't make Friday. Maybe next week sometime. You're being super chilled. <laughs> really nice energy. Really nice energy from you. Strong, but soft at the same time. You know what you're doing, Aquarius. Yeah. Underneath all that, two of wands in reverse, you do want to move forward with this person. You may just enjoy playing with them a little bit. Not in a nasty way, not in a sarcastic way, a toxic way, but just teaching them a little bit of a lesson. You know, you can't treat me like a girl that you just pick up and have fun with and drop because I'm an empress. So you're just going to have to work for it. <laughs> what energy is this person coming in with? Nine of Swords. Aquarius, you're stressing this person out. They've been unable to sleep. They think they've completely ruined the whole situation. They don't know if you're going to take them back. And you're super calm. Super cool about it. And they're there. Oh, no. God, what did I do? What did I do? Aquarius. <laughs> Yeah. Queen of Swords, I mean, they see you speaking the absolute truth. I mean, they may know you speak your mind, Aquarius. They may know you might be quite blunt sometimes, quite straight with them. You know, you treat me well, or I'm sorry, I don't want to talk to you anymore. They may know you're a bit like that. You may have showed that somehow in the connection in the past. They know or not to mess with you. They know that if they want you, they're going to have to come in and really put effort in. Because otherwise it's kind of game over. They know it. They know it. They're not exactly expecting you to move forward to them with open arms. You are. You're queen of cups. You know, you're very sympathetic. You'll listen to what they say. But underneath all that, you're not to be messed with. Yeah. Now, maybe you brought in the tower. Maybe you made this person realise that you're not to be messed with. They're trying to pick up the pieces. Because I think they were absolutely convinced that you were going to run after them. This is somebody who's sitting in a bit of ego. Again, they could be just very attractive. They could have a lot of people running after them. I think the fact, Aquarius, that you didn't run after them was a wake-up call for them. It kind of put you in a higher category, in a nicer sense. They have more respect for you, put it that way. <laughs> oh, yeah, Aquarius, Leo energy. Strength in reverse, they don't have a lot of confidence. They feel a bit bad. They feel a bit guilty. They don't think you're going to take them back. They're coming forward to you with a little bit tail between their legs type energy, a bit kind of humble. Aquarius. Hmm. What does this person want? Knight of Cups. They want to express that they have feelings for you. They want to come in and romance you. They want to show you that they're not the jack the lad. Let me prove to you how I can be. Okay. Mm, the hermit, Virgo energy. They've missed you. They felt very lonely without you. They may have felt you two really got on well and they never found anyone like you. They are filled with remorse. They've done a lot of reflection on the way they behaved in the past. And this is somebody who, even if they don't outwardly come out with it, does feel that they didn't treat you in the way that they should have done. And they're realising you're worth now, Aquarius. Michael, what is the King of Cups in the reverse for my Aquarians? Now, this is somebody who is going to open up their heart. They may have been embarrassed doing it, but they're going to do it. They're going to tell you how they feel. The lovers, yeah, there's love here. Now, they could open up and express the fact that, yes, in the past, I'm sorry, I had a choice between you and somebody else. I wanted to play the field. But they realise this is a deep connection. I mean, there is some kind of spiritual connection between the two of you. And it may be that this person could simply not find anyone like you. I mean, maybe they lived in another place and they were dating people in their area because they thought that was more practical, but they, they just kept thinking about you, Aquarius. And this is someone now who is coming in to speak the truth. Yeah, they're speaking the truth. 
page of pentacles yeah they're going to turn up with a gift this is a little apology this is hey i hope you're well i'm so sorry for what happened in the past you know i have this going on that going on i mean you may just wave away the excuses whatever they say but you are going to stand your ground and say well yeah it'd be nice to see you but how long are you here for you know <laughs> i'm quite busy right now i've got a lot on my plate they're going to have to work for you, but they want to do this. They really want to bring you back into their life. Yeah, three of swords in reverse. Because I feel that it might have shocked them that they felt these emotions growing for you almost at the point that you walked away or they walked away from you. And they may also have compared you to other people, Aquarius, that they dated, realising you're special. There's something about Aquarius that is unlike anyone else. What an idiot. I'm actually hearing a man say, what an idiot. Okay. All right. <laughs> how will, how else is this person feeling? How else are they feeling? Cards are going a bit crazy. What's going on here? How is this person feeling? Knight of Wands. But what is lovely, guys, this is not in the reverse. This is somebody who is moving towards you with a lot of passion, but they're not going to head out the next day, okay? This is someone who's here to stay. They may be young, they may be a little bit impulsive, they may have not behaved right in the past, but this is somebody who wants to mend that bridge. And they're going for you, Aquarius. It's as if nothing is going to deter them. They're determined to bring you back into their life. They don't want to let you go. Six of Pentacles. This is somebody who really is genuinely wanting to put in the time and the effort and the energy to spend time with you, to really get to know you, to take you out, to court you. I mean, this is quite a romantic energy. This person is sitting in a lot of remorse and regret, having thought about the way they behaved in the past, and they're coming in with the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups. Little apology. I'm sorry for upsetting you, for hurting you. They may know that. I'm going to put in the effort. I really want to do this. They're determined. Yeah, they're determined, Aquarius. King of Wands. Yeah, this is a man who is taking action. Taking action. We've got a true pair. I mean, we've got the King and Queen of Cups, the King and Queen of Wands. I think we had the Queen. Yeah, King and Queen of, King and Queen of Wands, if I can speak. Look at that. King and Queen of Wands. Beautiful. There's a huge amount of chemistry between the two of you. And they're looking at you thinking, wow, did I really let Aquarius go? What an idiot. I keep hearing a man say to himself, what an idiot. Why did I do that? Huh. Okay. Yeah, they're coming in. They're coming in. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. Now, if you were a little bit defensive before Aquarius, you're going to let this person in. You're going to allow them to talk to you because you are very attracted to them. So don't play games too much with this person. If you are very interested in them, allow them to apologise. Say to them, OK, well, as long as you're going to put in the effort now. All right, let's do this. But don't be too cold with them. Because it would have taken a fair amount for this person to come back to you because they really don't think that you're going to accept them back. So, yeah, you know, make them work for it, you know, but um, just be open and loving and a bit sympathetic because I do think this person feels terrible about what happened in the past, whatever happened. And they do have genuine intentions. So just make sure that they know that you are also interested. OK. Anything else for my Aquarians? Two of Swords in reverse, yeah. I think the emotion is going to come back. I think you're going to realise, Aquarius, you have feelings for them too. If there was any sense of, I don't know if I want this, I think you're going to make a decision to go for it. Because nobody knows in this life, Aquarius, whether or not something's ever going to last forever. Nobody really knows if something's going to last forever. And I think this is you realising, I'm just going to go for this. Because the chemistry is there. This person has really good intentions. I can see that now. They want to work on this. They do want this to move forward into something quite serious. And I'm ready. You're sitting in Empress Energy. 
And I think this person may have learned their lesson. It may not have been a bad thing, Aquarius, because this person knows what you will accept and what you won't accept. And they also know that if they want you by their side, they are going to have to be genuine, open, put in the effort. No secrets, no kind of scooting off to be with anyone else. They're going to have to really work on this. And I think they're ready to do it because they finally see your worth. Two of Cups. My goodness, this card has come out for quite a few readings for mid-December. There is a very strong connection between the two of you. I mean, this is, I'm not going to be mushy on you guys, but this is falling in love. I mean, you two may fall in love quite fast. Because once you lower your boundaries a little bit, Aquarius, realising this person does have good intentions, and once this person realises you will forgive them, and you do want this to work, I think it's full steam ahead. Yeah. I mean, this person has a huge amount of respect for you, Aquarius. Huge amount of respect for you. Anything else for my Aquarians, please? Yeah, and you're going to be building together. Three of Pentacles. You're both going to be putting effort into this. I mean, you could in, I don't know, a year's time, you could end up moving in with this person, creating a life with them, getting married. This is lovely. You're rebuilding the foundation or you're building a new foundation, realizing this person does want to commit. They've learned their lesson. You've held back. And I think both of you are moving forward. Aquarius, this is an incredible reading. Really lovely. I'm going to leave it there. So people have an incredible festive season. Whatever you're doing, whoever you're connecting with, friends, family, okay, the people next door, whatever you're up to, have an incredible time. Take care now. Bye, guys.